What's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of my Bundesliga career mode. Yes, the wait is finally over. My new career mode has begun here on YouTube. And before we get into today's episode, I do want to say straight away to start this series off, if you want to see the second episode of my Bundesliga career mode today, then get this video to 3,000 likes. You guys have been extremely patient with me whilst I've been working on this new series. So if you want to see a double today, right off the bat, the second episode coming later on today, get this video to 3,000 likes and I'll upload the second episode episode of my new Bundesliga career mode later on today. But either way, my Bundesliga career mode has begun. Now, I want to say thank you very much to everyone for voting in the poll. Over 19,000 of you got involved. Thank you so much for that. I let you guys choose the team between five and you guys chose Hamburg for me. They were the only Bundesliga career mode in the poll, but they won it. Thank you to everyone for voting. So many of you chose Hamburg as well. I was really surprised about that, but pleasantly surprised as well. So I do believe they were probably the best choice and this can be a really, really fun career mode. So yeah, we Starting off at Hamburg, due to your vote, really, really excited for this. My first Bundesliga career mode since FIFA 14, so really excited to return to Germany and see if I can conquer the country and hopefully Europe as well. So we'll be starting off with Hamburg, and these are the aims for my new team as I undergo my new project here. In the domestic cup, the ball wants to reach the round of 32 stage, and in the league, they want us to finish in mid-table as well. So some pretty relaxed aims from the board in the first season, nothing that's making me sweat right from the first day. Those aims, in my opinion, are aligned with my aims as well. I, with Hamburg in the first season, basically just want to make sure that I get familiarised with the team and don't aim for anything too dramatic in the first season, like a Champions League spot come the end of the year. I just want to get familiar with the squad, learn how they play, see what the best formation is, the best team is, and so on and so forth, and feel good and feel comfortable when using this team as I plan to be here for a long time. So you can see the team here, the squad report. This is the squad we have assembled here with Hamburg. Should say assembled. This is the squad we've inherited here with uh, Hamburg. We'll be assembling our own squad over the years we're here at the Volkspark Stadium but uh, either way this is the squad we've inherited here I must say it's it's not the best side you know it's not the best side at all last season in real life they only stayed in the Bundesliga uh, avoided relegation via a relegation playoff at the end of the season so they were due to go down but they survived in a relegation playoff and if my memory serves me right they scored like a last minute free kick goal that kept them in the league or, or something similar to that so because of that Hamburg side isn't the best as you can see, not too much quality there and it's going to take a long time before Hamburg become a really good side if we can get to that stage with them which I'm confident we will be able to do so in the few years we'll be here but either way it's going to be a really really fun challenge you can see here this is the team I've assembled uh, this is the team I've uh, inherited I should say again, this is the team I've inherited, this is the lineup I've got with them and it, it's not the best as you can see and our budget is 6.8 million pounds, that's after the 60% boost as well so 6.8 million pound budget for Hamburg you can see the contracts as well. There are a few players that have their contracts up come the end of the year. I think it's six players in total. The main ones are Ilisevic, Spahic, Rudnevs and Kakar as well. And Olic is due to retire come the end of the season. So it's a good league, the Bundesliga. And with Hamburg, you know, again, when you look at the teams that we're competing with this season, I can't see us finishing much higher than around ninth, eighth place at the very best. But we have got some decent players here. I would say that my two main players that I've inherited with this squad I'll be looking out for are Lewis. Lewis Holtby and Lasaga as well. Now, here's a bit of Doc's trivia for you guys, too. If you've been watching my career modes for a while, you'll know this. But who was the team I used Lasaga with in one of my career modes? A bit of Doc's trivia for you here for you guys straight off the bat. Lasaga. Well, I've had him before. What team did I have him with? Let me know in the comment section down below if you know the answer to that question. But either way, very excited to reunite with him. Hopefully, I don't end up selling it to Real Madrid again. But either way, Lasaga reunited with that guy. And again, Lewis Holtby as well. I think that could be a really good player for us. Aaron Hunt as well. Rennie Adler, the goalkeeper. There are some good players in this Hamburg side, but again, it's going to require a lot of work. It's going to require a lot of progression, and I do believe this is going to be a very tough challenge for me. So excited for it regardless, and it should be really, really good fun. Either way, with uh, Hamburg, I got myself into, uh, into a preseason tournament right from the beginning, as you do. I, as always, just chose the one with the most prize money. We beat Levante in the first game. Then we lost to Alan Pardew's Crystal Palace in the second game, which meant going into the third game of the preseason tournament, we would have to avoid defeat in order to qualify for the knockout stages. We took on Remy Guards, Aston Villa, another English side. And as you can see, we did indeed avoid defeat as we won the game by two goals to one. So we go through to the semi-finals of the preseason 
preseason tournament because I don't care about the preseason tournaments at all. I never play the games. They're they're a new feature for this year's uh, for this year's FIFA uh, preseason tournament, but it's not something which I'm really fussed about at all. I just pick a weekend side, simulate the games. If we get through the group, good. If we don't, fair enough. So we got through our group in second place behind Crystal Palace on goal difference. Went into the semi-finals, and I do believe we took on Southampton in the semi-finals. Yes, we did, but unfortunately, as you'll see, we didn't progress further than that because Ronald Koeman's side knocked us out before we could reach the final. So obviously a little disappointed not to reach the final and get more prize money, but as I said, I simulate the games. I'm not too fussed about them. In all honesty, I just want to get through them as quickly as possible and start focusing on the transfer business. So I intentionally decided to scout whilst the preseason tournament was going on, not do any transfers whatsoever, just scout for some players, look for some players, uh, unmask their overalls and their attributes as well and see how they look. And as you can see, I went straight to work right after the Southampton game and started looking for new targets. Now you saw the score with Hamburg. It requires a lot of work. You know, in all areas really, they could do with some strengthening. But in my opinion, the best way to uh, improve Hamburg is to look at the spine of the team. The centre back, the CM area and the striker as well. I don't mind the full backs too much in the first season. I think they'll be okay. Wide areas too, not too bad. And I might uh, play a bit more centrally with this Hamburg team as well and change the formation as the season goes on. But centre-back for me is probably my biggest worry. Sparhitch is 34 years old. He's out of contract in the summer. I'm just going to let him go come the end of the first season unless he does incredibly well for us due to his age. And he'll probably start decreasing in the first season, even though he's 78 overall. We can't sell him as this is his first year at Hamburg. Juru is currently injured right now and may not make the first game of the season. So for me, buying a new centre-back seems to make a lot of sense. Now, I looked at three targets initially. Hoffman, Gunter, and Mark Oliver Kempf. They were the first first three players I was looking for for Hamburg and I wasn't really sure who to buy here. Now obviously my number one target is probably going to be someone like Nicholas Sewell but unfortunately he's a bit, of our, a bit out of our price range right now so someone we won't be going in for straight away. But either way those three players to me seem pretty appealing and three players we could definitely afford here with Hamburg and again because of the prize money we got from the preseason tournament we're up to around nine to ten million pounds right now so that's pretty good. Uh, we've got a bit extra cash now and then uh, we can try, start looking at other players that we could possibly buy. Uh, Galatasaray accepted our bid for Corey Gunter. One million pounds. Now he's only 68 overall Gunter, 20 years old though. He's surely got some decent potential and could grow quite nicely but I wasn't too sure about this one. Even though one million pounds is his valuation and this seems like a pretty sensible deal to us, I'm not entirely sure how well he'd do. Mark Oliver came for two ratings higher but Freiburg didn't like the bill we put in so we put in a new one for him and we shall wait and see what they say. In fact we didn't put in a new bid did we? We stalled it. Instead we went to Hanover 96, put in a new bid for Andre Hoffman. They wanted six and a half million pounds for the Hoff and I was like really? That's quite expensive that's not double his valuation but it's you know it's, it's there or thereabouts it's around 6.8 million pounds so I said okay how about I up it to 4 million pounds that's 600,000 pounds over his valuation 2.5 million pounds shy of what you're asking for but I'm totally fine paying 4 million pounds and we shall wait and see what they say Hoffman in my opinion out of those three centre backs would be the best choice which is why when Gunter came back to us and said he'd accept his contract here I decided to stall it and wait and see what Hanover would say to the 4 million pound offer because to me 4 million pounds for Hoffman would be better than 1 million pounds for Gunter because he even though Gunter and Hoffman may have similar potential, Hoffman right now is seven ratings higher than Corey Gunter is. I'd imagine you've got similar potential. And what I don't want to do is buy a player in the first season who may not be good enough for the first team. I want someone who can come in straight away and be good enough to play in the first 11 or at the very least on the bench and someone who can have an instant impact. With Gunter, we're going to have to nurture his talent right from the beginning. He'll probably only play cup games to begin with and some games here and there, maybe when players are injured or suspended. But with Hoffman, I'll throw him straight in the first team, take out one of Giro or Spahic and have him as one of my first choice centre-backs in our debut season with uh, Hamburg here. So Hoffman accepted his contract, 25 grand a week on four million pounds, uh, so you say four million pounds, 25 grand a week for Hoffman and uh, Gunter as well. He was going to accept a six uh, six thousand pound a week salary and we don't have to pay one million pounds to Galatasaray but even though it is three million pounds higher, I decided to go for Hoffman. I was stalling it for a while I was giving myself some thinking time, thinking maybe we should save our pennies, maybe I should save my cash, look somewhere else, maybe buy someone else instead of uh, Gunter and Hoffman and just get a different centre-back in general, but I thought no, I wanted Hoffman, he was my number one target right from the beginning, I wanted to bring him to Hamburg and that's exactly what we did so Corey Gunter's deal gets stalled, but in the end it goes away, we don't sign Corey Gunter, we go for Hoffman, £4 million, pounds, 25 grand a week and again, it is over his valuation, yes I'm not going to lie, but I think personally speaking that is a good deal, don't just look at his overall, think about his potential as well, he's only 22 years old, he's surely going 
going to get better. He's got some really solid basic stats right now as well in the defensive areas. Very, very solid indeed. Short pass 73 as well. Important for me when I try and play out from the back. Can also play holding mid. Six foot two. I think to me, that's a really, really smart signing right there. It's going to improve the first team straight away and he's going to be a player that can grow for the future as well. Now, my second transfer target was this guy too. I said I wanted to improve the spine of the team. Also look for a new striker as well. We got quite a few here, but Olic is retiring. Rudinev is out contract in the summer as well. I want a younger striker to come in. Possibly be someone to bring off the bench or maybe compete with Lasaga for the first team striker role. Had a lot of suggestions from you guys as well for this guy, Timo Werner. Now, Werner of Stuttgart is 74 overall right now. He's only 19 years old. He's a very talented young striker. Again, quite a few of you guys when I asked on Twitter for some suggestions did recommend Timo Werner. So thank you for the suggestions. You can follow me on Twitter at DocLanders. Did get a lot of suggestions for Timo Werner. And Werner to me will be a great signing. I offered three million pounds plus Rudinez because Rudinez is out of contract in the summer. I'm not going to give him a new deal. I'm trying to sell him right now, but no bids are coming in. So because of that, I offered Stuttgart three million pounds plus Rudinez, and I'd wait and see what they say for the young striker. Werner can also play left mid as well, and I'm sure I could play him on the right side of midfield too, either in the wide areas. Uh, Werner is really, really quick. He's only 19 years old, 74 overall, and I'm pretty confident too he'll have mid 80 potential based on how young of a talent he is. He looks really, really good. How young of a talent? How good of a young talent he is. He looks really, really solid to begin with. They didn't like the first build we put in Stuttgart, so we offered a new deal, and we shall wait and see what they say. You can see we sold a player here to Sligo Rowe, was one of the random squad players, and Stuttgart did accept this bid here of £3.6 million pounds plus Rudinevs. Now, you may think that's a bit over his valuation, and that is true. When you combine Rudinevs' valuation with the £3.6 million, pounds, it is going to be a bit over his valuation, but we're not going to need Rudinevs if we sign Timo Werner, because obviously Werner is going to be a player who's similar overall and has far more potential being far younger. We're not going to use Rudinevs. He's out of contract in the summer. I can't seem to sell him, can't get any bids for him. So because of that, I put in a bit of Werner, uh, so three point six million pounds plus Rudinevs for Werner, and we shall wait and see what they say. As you can see, he accepted the bid. We offered him a contract. Then I found out they are in talks with Real Sociedad. So because of that, I made the contract better, played it safe rather than sorry, gave him a better deal. Important first team player status, five percent gold bonus to go along with twenty five grand a week on a five year deal. And we shall wait and see what Timo Werner says. But that is going to end today's episode of the Bundesliga career mode, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. I really hope you have enjoyed the first episode of my new series. I am so excited for this series. I really hope you guys are as well. And again, if you can put 3,000 likes on this video, I'll upload a second episode later on today, which will have the first game of the Bundesliga season. So thank you for watching the first episode. Really hope you have enjoyed it. 3,000 likes for episode number two to come later today. And I hope you guys can do that because I'm excited to upload the next episode. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like and enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next episode, hopefully later on today.